Hi everyone, Gav here from the LFC Day Trippers. This is Quickfire Reds, and it's going to be a series of videos that we're going to do over the next little while, probably one, two, or three a day, depending on how the news is going with regards to Liverpool. Five minutes, five minutes max. And it's going to be on different topics with regards to Liverpool. It could be something that's happened this morning, something that's happened last night, and we're just going to have a little chat about them. We're going to put them out on YouTube, we're going to put them across our social media, and you can watch them, you can agree, you can disagree, but you can give us some feedback. You can get involved in the comments on YouTube and stuff like that. The fourth one is Summer 2021. Now, um, Jaden Sancho, who was imminently joining Manchester United since probably the end of July, didn't um, when it came to the end of the transfer window. And let's be honest about it, it dragged on and on and on. And something that came out of this, um, I suppose, from Liverpool's point of view was a lot of Liverpool fans and lads involved in their podcast and lads, that, lads and ladies that view our YouTube show said, if they don't sign him, I fancy us to go for him next summer. And it, it got me thinking... Is it a real possibility? Because if you look at it, you know, we had reports that they'd agreed a fee, they'd agreed personal terms, they'd agreed agent terms, they'd agreed everything, and in the end they'd agreed nothing. And I'm starting to wonder if, was it all about money, or was he given a nudge from somewhere? Don't go there, give it another year, give it six months, and we'll sign you on a pre-contract. We'll do a deal in January um, for you to come in the summer. Because as big of a club as Manchester United are, and it was Miguel Delaney is, uh, is the man I've seen today talking about Bayern Munich and Liverpool. And as big a club as Manchester United are, the, where they are at the moment, to me, is not a massively appealing move to the likes of a Jadon Sancho. Simply because I think United wanted him to come in and be their main man, to be the, the one that they're going to all throw all their eggs in that basket he's going to have to perform every week there's going to be massive massive pressure on him and he's 20 21 years of age is he even 21 it didn't seem right to me um now the money going around was astronomical there was talk of it being 350 grand a week i have seen reports now saying that united pulled out because they thought in the end this deal would cost them around 250 million pounds if that's true and you know Borussia Dortmund wanted 108. You're looking at 140 million um, over five years, which it's just astronomical money. And as big as United are, they probably weren't willing to go that, go that high. Having said that, in the summer of 2021, Jaden Sancho is going to cost a lot more than, in my opinion, 108 million pounds or 120 million euros. Where do Liverpool come into this? The only way I can see it happen is if one of Salah Mane live. That's my opinion. Um, but I think, looking at it from the club's point of view, it could be one of these signings that, you know, the Nike money is there, as people talk about. You know, hopefully they're out of COVID and back to some sort of normality by, by next summer and there's people in grounds and, you know, TV money is back to where it, where it is. And it may be one of those where, you know, Klopp goes and does a la Allison. And a la Virgil van Dijk and says, we need this fella. This fella is the future. This fella is, t whatever, 20 years of age if he's that. And we'll have him for five, six years. And he, he still will probably won't hit his peak by the time his first contract will be up. And we can make our money back. It could be something like that. Um, Let's wait and see. But the talk of Jaden Sancho is going to go on and on and on. And it's very interesting. Bayern Munich, of course, are the other side that are being... Um, linked with Jaden Sancho and I think that's just a natural thing because he plays in Germany um, and he you know he's at Dortmund and the amount of people that move from Borussia to Bayern um, especially when they're at nearly at their peak is is frightening to be quite honest with you so Bayern Munich will be in the conversation you'd wonder if if you'd wonder if um, you know Real Madrid Barcelona but Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. The other one to keep an eye on is, um, and I'm going to try to say his name properly, um, it's Red Bull Leipzig centre-back, uh, Deo Upamecano. Now, the talk coming out today, um, this evening, as I'm, as I'm recording this, is that he is available for €40 million Euros, um, next summer. And I have a feeling Liverpool are in for this. I really, really do. I have a feeling Liverpool are into this. 
because of the centre back situation as it stands. The fact that we let Lovren go and didn't replace using Fabinho as an emergency centre back. I'm hoping that they've said, look, we can go a season with Fabinho there and we make a move next summer. Keep an eye on that one as well. And let's see what happens um in the ne- in the coming months. I think you might see something happen in this in January. Um if it's not if he's not moved on in January, he will I have a feeling he'll sign for someone in January with and the move will happen then in the summer. But um very, very, very highly rated by anybody I speak to about. So it's another one to keep your keep your eye on and Two big, big silence uh, um, next summer if if that's the way it's going to go. It's all speculation, of course, but I just thought I'd come on and talk about them because I want people's views on them. So w- you've, you're going to watch this video, obviously. Get on to where on to, in the comments on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you need to find us, LFC Day Trippers, and give us your feedback. Um, that's it. Over and out.